So, what's this? A beer that changes your clothes? Back in my day, when you slammed down one too many beers, you woke up in a strange place with nothing but your bulu cap hanging out. Oh shit, we on? Uh, cut back to the studio. Welcome everyone, Gaming for the Recently Deceased here. The devs have released another Season 4 teaser in the form of a new beer, so let's watch the trailer and then I'll go through some interesting points. To danger! Oh, that's nice! Yeah. Never felt better. So before we get to the beer, here are some changes to the space rig. The rocks pox plague has spread further into the space rig. The windows that looks out at Hoxie's has the plague growing around it and also has spread to areas around the abyss bar. Next to the barrel hoop game, there is a new area with the arcade cabinet. And now we can confirm the game is called Jetty Boot. Perhaps this will be a Flappy Bird clone or something similar to Doodle Jump. I can imagine this will be a very addictive mini game. I can also expect some controversy. Now imagine you're just about to hit the top score on Jetty Boot and your host starts a new mission ripping you away from the game. There may not actually be a top score that saves on the arcade cabinet, just like the score does not save on the barrel hoop game, but imagine if it did and the host could show off how much time they spent playing the game. Maybe the devs could implement a co-op mode side by side where players verse each other and see who can get the highest score. Another new addition near the arcade cabinet is a neon Bosco that appears to be pushing a button. I'm assuming it's the red button for the barrel hoop game, or could it be a secret clue to a hidden button tucked away somewhere on the space rig? Eh, it's probably just there because it looks cool. And now on to the final part, the mystery beer. My first suspicion was it was a random beer buff, some type of modifier that gives you an ability on mission. But after closer inspection, you can see the dwarf's outfit changes. It's a cosmetic randomizer. But now you're probably asking, why do we need this? When it's much easier to go up to a cosmetic terminal and hit randomize. The difference would be that you wouldn't know how wacky your character will look until the mission completion screen. As someone who often passes on bizarre looks and favours more military or tech designs, I could see myself using this beer because the possibilities would be hilarious and I would be oblivious how weird I looked until the end screen. Something I was hoping it could be was a random novelty beer. Long ago I suggested to the devs that it would be funny if you could buy a beer that would randomly choose one of the effects but all the glasses look the same, so one player might shrink while another player ends up being launched into space. Another idea I had is being able to hide what beer you purchased because we've all fallen for the one player who bought a blackout stout but said it was a buff. I think it would be comical to play tricks on your friends this way. They think they're getting a slayer stout but end up in the infirmary, though this could be used for griefing. But anyway, this is Gaming for the Recently Deceased, and if you haven't seen the two enemy reveal videos, aka Harold and the Glyphid Stingtail, be sure to check out my other videos. And as always, keep watching for all your Deep Rock Galactic news. How old are you? You're behaving like ill mannered children. Please, stop it. Disrespect your surroundings!